Have you ever wondered why understanding organic reactions is crucial, not only for chemistry students, but for everyone? Organic reactions are the backbone of our modern lives, quietly making everything from the plastic mouse you're clicking, to the delicious dinner you're planning, to the life-saving drugs you're prescribed. Organic chemistry is the study of carbon-based compounds, and these reactions are the ways these compounds interact and transform. Every time you light a match, cook a meal, or even take a breath, organic reactions are happening. They're the unseen thread weaving through our daily lives, sustaining us, entertaining us, and healing us. They're the secret ingredients in our food, the miracles in our medicine, and the conveniences in our commodities. Understanding organic reactions is like learning the language of life and matter, the dialect of the universe itself. It's a fascinating world full of surprises and endless possibilities. So let's dive into this world and understand the different types of organic reactions. Imagine you're at a party and someone takes your seat when you leave it. That's exactly what happens in a substitution reaction. Now let's break it down. In the realm of organic chemistry, a substitution reaction is a type of chemical reaction where one functional group in a chemical compound is replaced by another functional group. The word substitution comes from substitute, meaning to replace. Picture it this way, you're at a party, enjoying the music and the ambience. You decide to step out for a bit, leaving your seat. While you're gone, someone else arrives and takes your place. You return to find your seat occupied. This is a simple, everyday example of a substitution. The seat is the molecule, you are the leaving group, and the person who took your place is the incoming group. Now let's dive into a real-world example. Consider the production of halogenated hydrocarbons, which are widely used in refrigeration systems. In these reactions, a hydrogen atom in a hydrocarbon is replaced by a halogen atom, such as chlorine or fluorine. This is a substitution reaction. Substitution reactions are broadly classified into two types based on the mechanism of the reaction, SN1 and SN2. SN stands for nucleophilic substitution, and the numbers 1 and 2 refer to the steps involved in the reaction. In an SN1 reaction, the leaving group leaves first, creating a carbocation, which is then attacked by the nucleophile. On the other hand, in an SN2 reaction, the nucleophile attacks the molecule and the leaving group leaves simultaneously. Understanding these reactions and their mechanisms is crucial in the field of organic chemistry as they form the basis for the synthesis of a wide variety of chemical compounds. Substitution reactions are not just confined to labs and textbooks, they are happening all around us in nature and in industrial processes. Just like in the party, the substitution reaction involves swapping components. So the next time you're at a gathering and someone takes your seat, remember you've just experienced a substitution reaction in real life. Scene script. Think of your favorite sandwich. The more ingredients you add, the richer it gets. That's the essence of addition reactions. Just like when you're building your dream sandwich in addition reactions, we're adding more elements to a molecule. But instead of lettuce, tomatoes, or bacon, we're dealing with atoms or groups of atoms. And instead of bread, we have a molecule with a double or triple bond. In the realm of organic chemistry, addition reactions are all about breaking these double or triple bonds and adding new atoms. It's as if we're splitting open a baguette and stuffing it with all sorts of delicious fillings. Now, why is this important? Well, addition reactions are at the heart of creating a lot of substances we use every day. For instance, think about plastic. Yes, the very material that makes up so many items in our daily lives, from water bottles to car parts, is the result of addition reactions. In the case of plastic, the reaction involves molecules called monomers. These monomers, much like slices of bread and cheese in our sandwich, come together during an addition reaction to form polymers, which are long chains of repeating units. This is a bit like stacking several sandwiches on top of each other. But unlike our sandwich, which we'd eventually finish eating, these polymer chains can be incredibly long, sometimes consisting of thousands of monomers. And just as you can experiment with different sandwich fillings, chemists can use different types of monomers in addition reactions to create a vast array of plastics with different properties. So, whether it's preparing a hearty sandwich or synthesizing useful materials, the principle remains the same. We're adding more to the mix. And in the process, we're making something more complex, more versatile, and often more useful. So, addition reactions are all about adding more to the party and making things more complex. 
Imagine you're decluttering your room, removing unnecessary items. That's what happens in an elimination reaction. In organic chemistry, elimination reactions serve as a sort of molecular spring cleaning. These reactions involve the removal of elements from a molecule, resulting in a new, often simpler product. It's like taking a cluttered room and removing the items you no longer need, leaving you with a cleaner, more streamlined space. But why is this important? Well, elimination reactions play a crucial role in the creation of a wide variety of chemical products, and understanding them can help us make sense of how these products are formed. Take, for instance, the production of alkanes. Alkanes are incredibly useful compounds used in the manufacturing of everything from plastics to resins. These versatile molecules are produced through an elimination reaction known as dehydrohalogenation. In dehydrohalogenation, a hydrogen atom and a halogen atom are removed from a molecule, leaving behind an alkene. It's like taking a pair of old shoes and a worn-out hat from your cluttered room and removing them, leaving behind a cleaner, more organized space. But here's the interesting part. The hydrogen and halogen don't just disappear. Instead, they combine to form a new molecule called a hydrogen halide. This is an important point to remember about elimination reactions. While they involve the removal of elements from a molecule, they also result in the creation of new products. And it's not just alkanes. Other types of elimination reactions are used to produce a wide variety of other compounds. From the production of alcohols through dehydration reactions to the formation of alkynes through double elimination, these reactions are a fundamental part of the organic chemistry playbook. So, whether you're a chemist developing a new plastic or just someone trying to understand the world around you, understanding elimination reactions can offer a fascinating insight into the workings of the molecular world. Elimination reactions, therefore, are like a spring cleaning in the world of organic chemistry. Ever rearrange the furniture in your room for a fresh look? That's what molecules do in rearrangement reactions. Now let's dive into this fascinating world of rearrangement reactions in organic chemistry. Imagine your room as a molecule. The furniture in your room represents different atoms or groups of atoms. When you move your bed from one corner to another or swap the positions of your desk and bookshelf, you're not adding or removing any furniture. You're merely changing the layout. That's precisely what happens in a rearrangement reaction. In a rearrangement reaction, the molecule, our room in this analogy, undergoes an internal reorganization. The atoms or groups of atoms, our furniture, move around within the molecule. The overall molecular formula remains the same, just like the total number of furniture pieces in your room remains constant. But the structure of the molecule changes, much like the layout of your room. Let's take an example from the real world. Consider the isomerization process in petroleum refining. Isomerization is a classic example of a rearrangement reaction. In this process, straight-chain hydrocarbons are converted into branched-chain isomers. The straight-chain hydrocarbons are like a row of identical chairs in your room, plain and simple. But branched-chain isomers are like a carefully arranged cluster of different furniture pieces. Complex and interesting. Both have the same number of carbon and hydrogen atoms, the same number of furniture pieces. But their structures are different. In summary, rearrangement reactions are about changing the position of atoms or groups of atoms within a molecule. They create structural diversity without altering the molecular formula. They're like giving your room a new look without buying or throwing away any furniture. So, the next time you rearrange your room, remember you're doing what molecules do in rearrangement reactions. So rearrangement reactions are all about changing the layout without adding or removing anything. So we've journeyed through the world of organic reactions, but what does this all mean for us? What a journey it has been. We have navigated the intricate world of organic chemistry, delving deep into the heart of reactions that shape our very existence. We've unraveled the mystery of substitution reactions where one element graciously steps aside to let another take its place. We've observed addition reactions, the generous souls that keep on giving, adding more and more to their structure. Then we've seen elimination reactions, the brave ones that shed a part of themselves to form something new. And finally, we've witnessed the artistry of rearrangement reactions, shuffling around their components to create a totally different entity. These reactions are not just textbook concepts. They are the unseen forces that drive life on our planet. From the food we eat to the medicine we take, these reactions are everywhere. 
So continue this journey of discovery, keep exploring, keep learning. Remember, every reaction in the world around us is a testament to the magic of chemistry.